This video has been a long time coming and I haven't done one in quite some time. So I know there's a lot of y'all that watch the channel currently and you just came on board. Uh, you haven't been with me since the get go whenever I first started this YouTube endeavor and I didn't really expect it to be able to support the lifestyle that I have been able to live. And I think uh, just like I should probably give a regular update to bring everybody else up to speed. I've got over 800 video. I think it's over 800 videos now. And I don't think y'all have the time to go through. I mean, there are a select few of you that are dedicated supporters and view. <clears throat> there are a few of y'all that are dedicated supporters and viewers of the channel and, uh, you have went back and watched a lot of my old stuff and just binge watched. I mean, at least I've had some of y'all tell me that. But uh, who is MDLR Fishing? So, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the show. And today I'm going to give you a, not a quick, because Lord knows how long this one's going to run, but I'm going to give you an overview of who it is that I am what I've done, how it is that I've become a full-time YouTuber. And uh, for those of you not interested, well, feel free to hit that skip button. For those of you that are here just to try and maybe poke fun at me because trust me, I've had my fair share of the indifferent people. But either way, um, to me, that doesn't matter. I'm happy doing what it is that I do, and uh, yes, I do read your comments. I read every one of the comments that are submitted down below or left down below. It's not like anybody's submitting anything. YouTube does try to filter a lot of the profanity, but uh, I approve those comments regardless of them being good, bad, or ugly. Um, I don't believe in censoring anybody, and I feel that uh, I am a public figure now if you have anything to say and uh, you truly are um, a person of respect, then you will meet me and you will tell me how you feel instead of hiding behind a keyboard. But uh, that's it for that. Um, <clears throat> let's let's go on with the show, right? Um, so who is MDLR Fishing? That's me. My name is Mark De La Rosa. I'm 45 years young and I'm a retired Marine Corps combat veteran of like over 22 years of service. And immediately after retiring, I moved back home to Houston, Texas. I am a native Texan and uh, I'm, a, a, I'm a husband, a father of three and a grandfather. And uh, I, I'm absolutely loving life. I did put a lot of sacrifice into my life to be able to be where I am at currently right now. So um, without y'all's support in watching the videos, making the comments down below, hitting that thumbs up button, subscribing, uh, all of that has fueled me to be where it is that I am right now. And uh, I owe a lot of my success to the patrons of the channel and um, I'm very grateful for y'all. I absolutely love each and every one of y'all alike, whether you're just a regular viewer that comes by that's not subscribed, a subscriber, and a patron. Um, I owe every bit of my success to y'all. So thank you. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed and you want to help the numbers, then uh, please hit that subscribe button. That's the best way to support me and what it is that I do. I'm very grateful for those of y'all that do enjoy the work that I do. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, after after retiring from the Marine Corps uh, or right before retirement, I did not know what it is that I wanted to do. Um, I did not want to go to corporate America. I, I had no... I, I just didn't... I, I had no desire to want to uh, tra try, like, try to do the transition from military life to corporate America. Uh, I heard all the horror stories in the military. There's one advantage that we have over corporate America, and that's being able to get the job done at all costs um, within reason. You know, it's not like a life or death situation. It's just being able to do the um, less appealing things 
that are required to get the job done. So when you say do something, everybody works together as a team to try and uh, accomplish the mission. And in corporate America, for the most part, um, th I know there are companies out there that are similar to the military and um, you are a, a great working team that's well-oiled a machine. And for the remainder of it out there, which is the vast majority, everybody is, it's cutthroat. It's about who can you stab in the back to basically further yourself? Are you willing to give the shirt off of your back to help your peer, your brother, your sister? And uh, that really doesn't happen. And I've heard the stories, I've, I've got neighbors, I have friends and uh, people who were never in the military and I've heard their stories over you know a few beers and uh, it's, it was just not appealing to me at all and so uh, right before retiring I saw some YouTubers very young I might add uh, they weren't even old enough to vote yet and uh, I watched them grow through the years and produce an empire and it was all based off of YouTube and I'm like wow that looks like fun. These guys are young. And I mean, they're doing exactly what it is that I love doing. Fishing has always been a pastime for me. I've always been intrigued by the water. I always feel at peace when I'm on the water. And I just made the decision to go all in. I took a an enormous leap of faith to jump into that online creator world, which is what we call YouTube. And uh, I was gonna give it a good go. Um, I talked to the wife, she thought I was playing when I said that I'm gonna try to do YouTube full time as a fisherman. And she's like, no, you know, her, her thoughts that she didn't let me know were, I give him six months tops. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's what she said, six months, but she put a time frame, and she's like, he's gonna lose interest. And then he'll start looking for a job. <clears throat> but no, um, I was all in and uh, took that enormous leap of faith. Uh, relied heavily on the pension that I was getting from the military and then the other portion of money that um, we were going to have to rely on to sustain our lifestyle. I didn't know where that was going to come from. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be YouTube, but then I quickly found out a, a couple of months into the game that uh, YouTube doesn't pay anything. They do not pay much of anything. And there's like a very select few, probably like 0.1, maybe 0.2% of all YouTubers that are truly making it happen and uh, earning an honest living doing what it is that they love to do. And that wasn't me. So I burnt through my entire life savings and I was like, what am I going to do? And uh, I quickly learned how to diversify. I hate that word. It just sounds so cliche. But yeah, for a lack of a better term, I had to put my eggs in more than just one basket, which at the current time was just YouTube. And I I'm like, um, how is it that I can earn money? And uh, I, I did something that was completely taboo to the fishing world and uh, that was considered uh, telling people where you fish without publicly telling them. The number one question that I received on my YouTube comment section in each video, and I still get them to this day, was, hey, where are you fishing? Hey, I don't want your honey hole. Just give me a general direction where you're at. Um, I'm brand new to the game. Can you help me out with a few spots and so on and so forth? And then so the light bulb basically went off. I'm like, well, if guides do it, you know, there, I don't see anything wrong in myself doing it. The type of people that were asking me, I mean, they're from all walks of life. You have hardworking Americans who uh, don't get to get out as often as some of us do. And when they do go out, they just want to experience some of the fun that I'm showing in my videos. And I was like, that could be a viable option, becoming a guide and taking people out there. Um, but I was like, if I'm going to be a guide, I'm the type of person that my job is to put you on the fish. And if I, you know, I can't guarantee that you're gonna catch fish and then I'm pretty sure there's some guides, like legit, 
full-time guides that are out there that put people on their boat or in their kayaks and that's what they do for a living um, they put people on fish and then uh, they could probably chime in if there's any guides watching right now down below uh, make your comments like I guarantee without a doubt that there are days where you don't catch fish there's days when I don't catch fish as a youtuber and not being able to do that I am the type of person that feels horribly bad and I wouldn't want to take somebody's money I mean yes you're gonna leave them with knowledge um, learn how to read the water uh, explain to them what it is that you're seeing uh, the sounds that you're hearing and uh, the reason why you fish certain areas and you pay attention to some areas more than others and just basically learn how to isolate the best and most productive spots in the marsh over the others so don't concentrate your time here do here um, you can leave them with that knowledge but the fact that there was no fish caught it's like uh you know yes i know that <clears throat> a lot of them would be watching and when i say them i'm uh, referring to the people who would possibly take me up on a guided trip if i were to be a full-time active guide um th they do watch the videos and they know I know how to catch fish and uh, they do realize that you're not always going to catch big fish. If you're a person that does catch big fish all the time and uh, you want to leave negative comments on my videos, I mean by all means go ahead and do it but uh, I can tell you that you're in the wrong line of work because you're watching a YouTuber's video and uh, if you're that type of person that catches big fish all the time you should be a professional fisherman and let that be your job instead of uh, trolling the comment section of just a common youtuber um, on YouTube but uh, yeah neither here nor there um, I could not do the guide thing because again I would end up wanting to tell someone hey it's it's a free sh a free trip um, I can't charge you and that, that's just basically the type of person that I am um, I feel that you wouldn't get your money's worth so I'm not gonna make you pay but the guides out there know it's like, hey, that boat costs money, the fuel costs money, the bait costs money. And I'm sorry, you know, the only thing that I could leave you with is knowledge on how to read the water and become a better fisherman. Um, they have to do it. Um, it's just not for me. And then it would take away from my being able to produce a con like content YouTube videos on almost a daily for you all to watch. So I just uh, opted not to do that. Um, I went the route of Patreon. Uh, there's a common misconception in the fishing world, uh, here locally for me, that Patreon means spot burning. And to me, it, it doesn't mean that. It just means that I'm being compensated for the work that I do. Uh, a lot of people love what it is that I do. They want to help support me. And because they do that, they go to Patreon and they make a monthly donation of either $2 or $5 every month. And I'm very grateful for it. That's what's been able to sustain me full time as a YouTuber and uh, allowing me to be able to create content almost on a daily, Monday through Friday, because the weekends I rarely ever go out there and fish unless we've had bad weather, then I'll make the uh, decision to go out there and fish maybe you know on the weekend but rarely ever do I do that my daily job is Monday through Friday whether it's 3 in the morning too it just depends on where our launch is gonna be how far away sometimes I'm driving one hour which is on like the usual that's the average and then there's times where I'm driving three and a half hours away and uh, that dictates how early it is that I gotta get up so I love doing what I'm doing. I'm not complaining. This right here is truly my passion. Yes, it is work, but it's work that I love. And if you love what you're what you're doing, how can you truly consider it work, right? Um, so I thoroughly enjoy what it is that I'm doing. And those patrons who come on board to provide patronage on a monthly to me, um, they truly love what it is that I'm doing. Uh, Patreon is not the selling of spots, uh, although I do provide fishing reports on there. And in my fishing reports, I'm basically 
doing what it is that a guide would do, but not in person. I'm able to help people out who are out of state, who may be in state, but all the way up north in Dallas, maybe uh, Waco, Amarillo. I mean, you, you, you name it. Uh, there's quite a few viewers who, when they're going to visit the coast, they go to YouTube and they try to look for the latest and greatest videos to see what the fish are biting on, possibly locations and stuff like that. And then they stumble across my videos because of how frequently I post. Then they see the little Patreon banner for fishing reports and then they check it out. Some of them send me messages on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, what's Patreon about? And I just quickly tell them it's a like it's almost a crowdfunding website for online content creators. You don't necessarily have to be with YouTube. You could be uh, Instagram person, uh, Facebook uh, but it's just a site where you can help support the people that you love following online and I'm like I also provide fishing reports everything that you see on YouTube for the most part I don't provide videos and fishing reports on trips where I'm invited with uh, another youtuber or another fisherman and it's the main reason why I rarely even take up any invite for someone wanting to hey I truly want to show you this spot of mine it's a great honey hole and I'm like no thank you um, eventually all the water will be fished and uh, I, I can stumble upon it on my own and I don't want someone trying to dangle anything above my head saying like hey uh, I told you about this spot and now you're spot burning it and, and this and that and so I, I just don't need the hassle because it's happened to me in the past and uh, I, I'd rather do without something like that but uh, on Patreon the vast majority of the patrons right now we're I believe a little over 400 patrons strong and the vast majority of them truly love the art, the work that I'm creating, and they want to support me. And uh, they have helped support me for the past three years. So I, I thank them for that. And then there's very few, like the out-of-towners who are going to come into the area that want to go experience that day on the water, or maybe some of the locals who just want to quickly know where it is, where it is, and what it is that the fish are biting on, what to look out for in certain areas. I want to say like the vast majority of fishermen truly understand that just because you tell someone an area where the fish are currently uh, we're dealing with tidal waters and they understand that the fish aren't going to be there the very next day conditions change I mean it also explains why I hit a spot maybe four times in a row thinking that I'm gonna catch fish and then maybe on that fourth time all the like the previous three times I've done exceptionally well and in that fourth time the fish aren't there and that's, that's fishing for you so you take it with a grain of salt these are just really in-depth very descriptive everything that I know what I'm seeing on the water what to pay attention to all of those things um, what I'm using to try and mimic the bait, the structure that I'm trying to target, why it is that I think I'm catching fish there based off of the previous four years of knowledge that I've gained consistently being on the water. Those are the things that I give back to my community that helps to support me. So if I don't answer a question online um, in the YouTube comment section, it's just because it's that would be wrong of me to do that and then have my patrons, the ones who do become a patron for the fishing reports, uh, it's just bad business. So uh, therefore I stay away from it. And then I'd be ostracized by others, the locals and everything else who are like, dude, we've worked so hard for this fishing spot. I get it, you know, I understand, but I don't see nobody going out there and truly bothering the guides who are doing it and putting in that time uh, physically on the water with those guys it's just a, a it's a means of honest work that I am doing and it allows me to support my family so that's how it is that I'm able to live the simple lifestyle that I do live one of the common misconceptions about MDLR fishing is that you know I, I must be a baller because of the gear the equipment that I use um, it's all high dollar stuff and I'll be the first to admit it 
Um, I am thir like I thoroughly enjoy being able to use premium gear, but I get to use it because it's a perk of being a YouTuber. I have an audience and companies, once you become relevant in the fishing industry, they want to put their products in your hands so that you can show the audience what it is that that gear is capable of doing. And because I have fishing companies that are wanting to support my channel and help me provide a living for my family, um, I get to use like exceptionally good gear. And we're talking top of the line rods, we're talking top of the line lures, stuff that truly works. And it's bad business for a YouTuber to basically just start using something or advertising something just for the sake of receiving a paycheck because if that gear doesn't work, well then it's just, it's counterproductive. It won't, it won't work, you know. Let me know how long you can go without catching a fish using or trying to force yourself to use something that just does not work. Uh, if you're a fishing channel, you need to catch fish. If you can't catch fish with it, well then, you know, you're probably gonna go out of business really fast. So uh, I am no baller by any means. I do get to use really good gear um, to include kayaks, you know, that are sponsored uh, from Old Town. And uh, am I in Old Town's pocket? No. Um, am I sponsored by Mariner Sales? I am not. Uh, it's just a great company in North, or yeah, well, not North Dallas. It's, it's in Dallas and it's in North Texas. Um, it's a phenomenal company, a, a kayak dealership that uh, has just like phenomenal customer support. And I believe in those guys. I'd rather do the four hour drive to go up there and purchase a kayak from them whenever I'm in the market for such uh, you know, an item that I have no interest in dealing with the kayak dealers here in the Houston area. They are not about customer service um, for the most part. They have kids working for them. And I'm not trying to take a stab at anybody. There are some great guys that I have met here in some of the Houston dealers, but they're few and far between. And therefore, I just decide to go to Mariner Sales. So I guess what I'm getting at talking about companies and such is that everything that I wear or I sport on the channel doesn't mean that there's a working relationship with that company. Sometimes they're just going to send me shirts for free. They're going to send me hats for free. And if I ain't got to buy my own shirts and my own hats, uh, we're talking technical items that's going to protect me from the sun and keep me from getting skin cancer, then I'm going to wear those things. There's no hidden, hidden agenda. I would be the first person to tell you if I am sponsored by a company, uh, I'm going to let you know because I respect you, my audience, the people who watch me daily. I respect you so much that I don't want to lose that respect and I'm going to let you know like hey this video is sponsored or hey I'm sponsored by this lure company or this fishing rod company. I don't have very many sponsors and to name them, I'm sponsored by Luz, I'm sponsored by Old 18 Outfitters, I'm sponsored by Bugs Fishing and then I'm sponsored by Catch Co. That is it, four sponsors. Now I do have a lot of other gear. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know that I switched from Hobie to Old Town. It's just because those kayaks are working for me right now. And that's what I choose to go out there in. When Hobie comes out with something phenomenal and great, the beauty of me not being in Old Town's pockets is that I can go from whichever platform I feel best suits my needs at the time based off of whatever's delivered to market. Um, so th th that's a, I guess that's just a win-win for me. And uh, yeah, so going back to the whole thing about, you know, the common misconception is that I'm loaded with money. I am not. I'm a retired military person. And uh, you can ask the next veteran who's retired, there's not a lot of money in it. You're not getting much of anything. You lose a lot of the benefits that you used to get whenever you were in the military. No more housing allowance, no more food allowance. There's uh, no more special pays or anything like that. You get half of your basic pay and that's, you know, before taxes and uh, after taxes, which the government taxes you a lot. 
there's really next to nothing. So my family, we've restructured, we've learned how to live the simple lifestyle, but we're very happy. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, I define success by happiness. And hopefully this will make sense to some of you. If not, well then maybe once you've lived wife, wife, once you've lived life a while, you'll truly be able to understand what it is that I'm saying. Because if you're not happy in life, there's something more out there. And as long as you're happy, money isn't gonna define your success. Money does help you to get through life and be happy. But in the end, it's not what equates happiness because I'm a living proof that I can do what it is that I do. I absolutely love it. Um, if I get burnt out, then I take a week off and I just, you know, space out, enjoy the wife, enjoy my kids and uh, just do stuff around the house. A week later, I, I'm like, okay, I'm chomping at the bit to hurry up and get back on the water. I miss it. I, I want to feel the tug. I want to catch a red fish. I want to see a fish be landed and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm reinvigorated and just honestly ready to go. This is a very low stress lifestyle that I get to live. I'm on nobody's schedule. I'm not on a time crunch. I get to do what it is that I want to do. I truly live my life day to day and I take it as it comes and I am happy doing it. I, I mean, I, I cannot tell you, I am just extremely blessed to be able to do this and that's because each and every one of y'all out there has allowed me that opportunity and um, yeah, I, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I, if I can leave y'all with a like, a moral of the story or a parting like message that's if you're living life right now just trying to amass tons of money you're letting life pass you by take some time to do what it is that you love to do and if you become a master at it then the money will find you and uh, that right there will more than likely bring you true happiness, doing what it is that you love. Uh, yes, it does become a job because I've heard some of the comments or I've read some of the comments saying, dude, but if you do it so much, aren't you gonna burn yourself out? And so I kind of answered that and uh, you always come back. You always come back for more. There's always something different. Every trip out to, you know, on the water, isn't always the same. There's something different. There's all the little subtleties. There's the beauty of mother nature. There's the different fish that you can catch. There's the different styles of fishing. There's top water, bottom bouncing lures. There's marsh. There's the bay. There's the jetties. There's wade fishing offshore. There's inshore. There's like freshwater fishing. There, there are so many things that can truly occupy your time and uh, I don't see how anybody could possibly get bored, tired, or burnt out from fishing. But that's just me. I love fishing. I am a fisherman at heart. I absolutely love doing it. And I want to share that with each and every one of y'all. Um, I have no interest in trying to pick fights online with people who are indifferent from me. And... Um, I just, I just want everybody to be able to experience the joys of fishing. I honestly think each and every one of y'all at one point in time of your life should be able to experience the pull of a redfish. Maybe the just like butt kicking pull of a jack being fought from the jetty rocks. Um, it, it's truly spectacular and uh, when you get to do it and you don't have to worry about somebody nagging you. You're out there. It's peaceful. It's quiet. You hear the birds. You hear the fish. You hear the slurps, the blow-ups along the bank. You see the shrimp going airborne. It's just nothing short of amazing. Truly spectacular. And uh, that right there is what I'm about. MDLR Fishing. Thank you so much for watching. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're ever interested in the gear that I use, 
that will always be listed in my video description down below. And uh, if you're interested in becoming a patron to help support my work, or you're just trying to find somewhere to go fishing, uh, rest assured the areas that I go fishing, I will help you out and I will get like equip you with the knowledge. So after one month of just being a patron, you're going to get a glimpse of what it is to possibly help yourself be better equipped to catch fish when you go out on the water. And uh, that right there is truly where it's at. So again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to help me out, that's the best support of all. Click the subscribe button and then drop your comments below. Um, I'm always anxious to see and uh, hear what it is that some of y'all have to say. Whether you like me or you don't, uh, it's besides the point. I've got some thick skin and uh, I, it's, I view it as constructive criticism or just criticism or just you know blatant hate. But either way, every view counts and it helps to support the lifestyle that I have come to love and uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm very successful at what I do because again, success is not defined by money. It's defined by you being able to do what it is that you love to do. And nobody will ever take this away from me except me. So again, thanks for watching and until next time, tight lines y'all.